Yeah, hard not to want to buy a boat after that. All right, Ben. Well, maybe the outdoors just ain't your thing, right? Maybe you're more of a gearhead. Well, then we have some good stuff for you, too. From outdoor Rama to auto Rama, courtesy of our favorite guy behind the wheel, Tim Pamplin. The buffing and the shining of the chrome as the 67th auto Rama takes place at Cobo Hall. Thousands waiting for the doors to open. It's hot rod heaven. And they're, and they're all gray heads, you know, this, all seniors reliving their uh, childhood. Yes, lots of reminiscing going on this weekend, Autorama. And every single one of these cars has a history. He loved cars. That's Fran Taylor sitting in her and her late husband's 41 Mercury. He had throat cancer. He passed away five years ago. The 41 had been sitting in their garage at home, and Fran wanted it restored for her Jack. I do it for fun. That's retired carpenter, an amateur mechanic, Stan, family friend. He received a phone call from Fran shortly after Jack's death. She says, can, can you put it back together? Can you make it a car for me? So we did. <laughs> and this weekend, for the first time, that 41 Mercury is on display. This is in memory of my husband, Jack. I think Jack would almost be in tears right now. <laughs> he, he, I know Jack would love the car. Now, Fran tells me, no, this vehicle's not going to be put in a warehouse. It's going to be driven. She hasn't been to the Dream Cruise since Jack's death. She'll be there this year. Every vehicle at Autorama has a story. That is the scene at Cobo today. Tim Pamplin, Local 4. So true. Every single vehicle you can walk around there. What a story. I, I do love all those stories. Yeah. The car is beautiful. Hope to see it at the uh, Dream Cruise.